Just a few videos ago, I blew minds with a how-to on terraforming the moon. Once we've developed a solar system spanning civilization and have claimed mastery over the laws of physics and have commonplace technology which staggers and dwarf our current comprehension of what's possible, it should be easy enough. In fact, it might be even easier than terraforming Mars or Venus as long as you keep a steady flow of gas to the moon replenishing the constantly escaping atmosphere. And in the comments of that video, a bit of the universe threw down. He wants to know what it would take to terraform Jupiter. All right, a bit of the universe, if that is your real name, I'm up for it. On the surface, this is madness. We already explained how Jupiter is completely and totally inhospitable to life. An alien started to build a star kit and stopped a third of the way through because he got bored and wandered away, just like his mom said he would. Jupiter is a ball of hydrogen and helium, which compresses these gases to almost star-like temperatures and pressures. Fine, Jupiter is the absolute worst. It makes traveling to Venus look like a spa. Jupiter does have something we can work with. Astronomers think that below the septillions of tons of hydrogen gas, there's actually a rocky core. The mass of the core is still a mystery, but recent computer simulations put it somewhere between 7 and 45 times the mass of the Earth, complete with plenty of water ices and other chemicals you might require on an Earth-like planet. Furthermore, this core may contain similar constituents as the eternal structure of Earth. This means a central core of iron and nickel surrounded by liquid metal, surrounded by rock. The problem is that you need to strip away 95% of the planet's mass. It's all that hydrogen and helium, and that's pretty much impossible. And almost completely impossible is still very slightly completely possible. Jupiter is made of fuel. It's like looking at a pool of gasoline and wondering if there's some way to get rid of it all. What good solar system spanning civilization hasn't worked out hydrogen fusion? It's a technology that's probably only 30 years away from us now. You could fly a spacecraft down into Jupiter's gravity well and scoop up hydrogen fuel from the clouds. Or you could create fusion powered dirigibles filled with hot hydrogen which could float around the cloud tops of Jupiter using their fusion reactors to spew hydrogen off into space. Over untold lengths of time, you could get at that rocky, juicy center once you stripped it of all its hydrogen. Then you'll need to do all that other stuff I mentioned in previous videos to turn it into a habitable world. Sure, it's a world with much higher gravity than Earth, but that is not my problem. You said Earth-like. That'll teach you to make wishes with a monkey's paw. So what if you need to move Jupiter first, perhaps a little closer to the Sun? There's an awesome idea cooked up by Larry Niven in his book, A World Out of Time. It's called a fusion candle, and it lets you shift gas giants around. You take a long space station and light up fusion thrusters on both ends, and then you dip one end down into the upper clouds where it siphons hydrogen fuel. And both ends of the space station start blasting. One end keeps it from dropping down into the planet, and the other end pushes on the entire planet moving it around the solar system. So instead of trying to terraform Jupiter, we could just push the planet closer to the sun where its icy moons warm up and become habitable themselves. Well, a bit of the universe, that sounds a little easier. What do you think? I'll admit, trying to figure out how to terraform Jupiter was a good exercise in tomfoolery. Fortunately, my imagination is a limitless and renewable source of energy. So we've done Mars, Venus, the moon, and now Jupiter. What should we terraform next? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. We'd like to thank Fritz Stubkez and Bartek Sierzniak and the rest of the members who support us in making space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay and Dad and the rest of the team. Want to get in on the action? Click here. Fit Fritz Stumpkus and Bartek Searsniak. Searsniak. <laughs> Fritz Stumpkus. Somebody is, this is one person, he's making up these names yeah, and sending it. Right, he gives us money. Fritz, Fritz <laughs> Stumpkus 
and Bartek Sierniak. 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 